यू नो पावर बी आई बट स्टिल यू हैव लॉट्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन इन योर माइंड हाउ डज इट हैपन वाई इट हैपन्स हाउ कैन आई डू दैट दिस इज द सीरीज फॉर यू सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू गेट द नोटिफिकेशन हेलो एंड वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ऑन एबस्ट्रेक्ट थीसीज सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस फ्यू फीचर्स रिलेटेड टू स्कैटर्ड विजुअल सो इन स्कैटर्ड विजुअल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी वॉन्ट टू एड द कॉन्स्टेंट लाइन यूजिंग द एफ एक्स फंक्शन मीन्स आई वॉन्ट टू यूज अ मेजर इन द कॉन्स्टेंट लाइन आई वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट बोथ एक्स एक्सिस कॉन्स्टेंट लाइन वाई एक्सिस कॉन्स्टेंट लाइन एंड यूजिंग दोज लाइन्स आई वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट अ क्वाड्रेंट एंड इन दोज क्वाड्रेंट आई वॉन्ट टू डू द मल्टीपल मेजर कंडीशनल फॉर्मेटिंग एंड वॉन्ट टू शो डिफरेंट डिफरेंट कलर्स सो लेट्स जम्प ऑन द पावर बी आई एंड ट्राई दीज थिंग्स सो आई हैव दिस माई डेटा मॉडल वेयर आई हैव द सेल्स टेबल विच इज जॉइंट विद द डेट आइटम कस्टमर इन जोग्राफी दैट्स वॉट द टेबल आई एम गोड टू यूज आई ऑलरेडी हैव अट नेट मेजर विच आई एम गोड टू प्लानिंग टू यूज हेयर अदर देन द नेट मेजर आई ऑल्सो हैव मेजर्स लाइक मार्जिन परसेंटेज एंड डिस्काउंट परसेंटेज विच आई एम गोड टू यूज इन दिस वीडियो टू हैव माई एक्सेस नाउ I will go here and here I am going to create a visualization and I want to create a scatter visual. Now to do the scatter visual, I go to the visualization and I click on scatter visual. I am going to make it completely big, and then in the scatter visual, I am going to use two majors: margin percentage and discount percentage. Now way I wanted it, I want this region to have the maximum margin and least discount so that's the highest one and i want this one to be highest margin so lowest margin and highest discount so i need to swap that position but i want my margin to be on the vertical so i will change it to y axis so let me remove them and let me want margin on the y and discount on the x axis now right now i'm getting only one dot so get get the add more dots so what i can do i can ping in details as city or you can if you want for the more details the option is name so i can get customer name so i'll get this kind of uh, data but that's too much of data so i don't want that much of data here in this visualization so what i'm going to do is i'm going to live with city here only right now now if i want a bubble size i can actually use the net the major which i was telling you now this is too big bubble so i can go ahead and control it little bit i can go to the marker and let me make it around 27 negative 27 that's look much better okay now what i want here is the fourth quadrant now the way previously what we used to do is we used to go to here in the advanced um, uh, option where uh, we have this uh, analytics pane that's what we call it analytics pane uh, and in the analytics pane we used to add the average line now when we want to add the average line the average line doesn't have an option for a major so when you doesn't have an option for a major it could be a simple average but that's what i don't want i want you to use the same major uh, to get that you know kind of a exact middle line so my average should not be simple average of cities it should be the overall average which is basically if i put this um, discount percentage here as a card visual and then if i put a line here basically i let's me go to the antix pane and let me put the average line again and if i put the data label on it you see the value is not same this is a slight difference but value is not same that's what i don't want so what i want here is basically i'll go to the constant line x axis constant line i'll say add line and in this add line by default it added it some value then i go to the line and i see fx option i can write down a value because it's a constant i can I could have given a constant value previously. That's how it used to work, but now I am going to say I am want a discount percentage here. And when I do the discount percentage here, it acts give me a line, and does the line give me the same value? So I enable the data 
label and you can see now this line is having the value which I wanted exact middle value okay so now we know it is giving us the correct value similarly on the y axis we will say add line again it added at zero we go to the line we use this fx option it is really powerful basically I can my major can decide but where is my going to my constant line and we actually want margin percentage so, and I got the four quadrant what am I my best quadrant whenever I am getting margin above my so this is my middle line so whenever I am getting margin above my average margin that's a good situation but in that the best situation is where I'm giving the least discount but this is the quadrant where I'm giving the least discount this is the query where I'm giving more than average discount I don't want this I want the this part to be here so what I need to do is I again click on this visual I go to the uh, x-axis properties and I will invert the axis once I invert the axis you can see the values have moved around so I am having low discount here so this is high margin low discount this is high margin high discount this is low margin low discount and this is low margin high discount this is the worst situation to have so this is this should be the green color the first one this should have the blue color this can have yellow color and this should have red color now I need four color and they are dependent on two majors and that to the majors grand total they are dependent on so now we know this value is correct so we can give the full space to this visualization I need conditional formatting but that conditional formatting can only happen using a major and the major has to use two major not the one major so if you go to the conditional formatting right now go to the marker and if you look at the conditional formatting the option gradient or option rules doesn't allow you two majors so I knew two majors the only option is field value the third option which was there here for third option field value I can choose a major which returns the color but I don't have that major right now so I need to create that major so let's go ahead and create a major so let's quickly create a color major color scatter and let's try that out into uh, our um, scatter visual so color scatter and in this color scatter major I require two variables and those two variables should me give me the overall discount and overall margin so I create first variable where underscore disk which is nothing but calculate discount percentage which is overall which is all selected I'm not going to use all because I want to honor the filters if there is anything and then underscore margin which is nothing but calculate margin percentage which is again all selected which is basically the middle margin now we want to return the colors so how do I return the color I need four color for four quadrants and I explained you the logic same logic we have to code here so we use return switch true because we have multiple conditions which we need to honor so the first I want to code the things which are above so which are basically margin percentage is greater than okay so we can decide whether we want greater than equal to always or less than equal to so I'll say okay for whenever it is greater than we'll say greater than so margin is greater than underscore margin it means we are in the above one and then discount percentage is less than and equal to underscore disk means it's less than the average discount so margin is more and discount is less that's the ideal situation getting more discount getting more margin by giving less discount ideal is that so green ideal situation is green you are like getting a lot of margin and you don't have to give discount that's the best way fine second is we still get margin but we give more discount so strictly greater now so that's a blue condition for us we are still fine as long as we are getting good margins at the cost of discount now third one is where the margin will fall below fourth is also where margin is falling below so now margin is less than margin but when we are fine if the discount is less then still we are fine isn't it it's it's fine to have 
less margin when you are giving less discount but you are getting less margin and you are giving more discount that's the worst situation to have so we don't want to have this situation where we are giving margin which is above the margin or margin we don't want to have a situation where we are having margin which is less than the average margin and we are giving discount which is more than average discount so we are giving more discount still getting less margin that's not an ideal situation to have what are such cities we wanted to know now where this is happening so we commit this major so without having the this one uh, without having the color scatter this is how it looks like now we are going to color it so we go to fx then we put field value then we choose the major color scatter and we got the four quadrants so green quadrant blue quadrant yellow quadrant and red quadrant now this yellow line basically equal to line is going to lying in somewhere you see this more towards this so it's red it is more towards this it is yellow it is almost towards this one so almost middle but little bit here this is where it's yellow okay so boundary cases are also covered and you can see the line is showing overlapping little bit things but still showing you the fourth quadrant so now you go get the actually four quadrants now you have four quadrants and each of that quadrants is representing the picture whether you are doing good bad really bad that kind of picture so we have solved few purpose here one we know how do we use constant line and how can we use majors in the constant line how can we create those quadrant and how can we do color on using multiple majors and those multiple majors can help us quadrant running quadrant into different different color in case of scatter so please go ahead and try that out do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you keep watching keep asking questions in comment subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos thank you